Hi everyone! Welcome to English for You. I am Kat. I'm Elsie. Yeah, and we are here today talking about books. Books. Do you like to read? Um, honestly, I don't. Really? <laughs> I'm very honest. I'm being、okay. very honest with you. That's all right. That's But recently, right. I'm trying to read more. Ah, okay. So I bought these,、um, like how to develop your. Um, good habits、ah, or how to manage your time. Self help, self help books. Yes, is what they're called. Yeah, I like to read fiction. Yeah, and so right now I'm reading a book called Snow Crash,、uh-huh. which is、uh, if you know about the metaverse. Basically, this book invented the idea of the metaverse、cool. long, long before it was real. It was written in like 1990. Oh, yeah. Who's so, the author?、Uh, Neil? No, not Neil Gaiman.、Um, ah. Neil Stevenson.、Oh, okay. Yes, it's、mm-hmm. a really good book. It's really entertaining. It's very sci-fi. Yeah. So if you read a good book, what do you enjoy about it? You know, you. I can learn、it. stuff from the book. Yeah, you can learn stuff. You can get lost in a new world.、Mm-hmm. And yeah, people who own books, they treasure their books, especially if that book is expensive, right? Or if it's old, like. My family owns some old, old books. I'll、mm-hmm. talk about them a little bit later. We are actually talking about people's book collections and why they are so precious. And we're going to talk about a certain very interesting thing, which not many people have anymore, but they used to have in a lot of different books. And if you see old books, you might see this in them. So let's take a look, and we're going to learn more. Reading. Take a look. It's in a book. A nex libris. Imagine opening an old and beautiful book. You might see a small printed label with the name of the book's owner on the inside cover. This is a nex libris, which means from the library of or from the books of. Ex libris are also called book plates. And their use can be traced back to 15th century Germany. Individuals soon began using ex libris in the rest of Europe and around the world. Institutions such as private and public libraries, universities, and museums use them as well. Before modern printing production methods, books were rare and precious, so owners took great pride in them. Ex libris. Were used so that books could be returned to the legal owner if they were stolen. Since most people that could buy books were rich nobles, early ex libris often included their family crests. Later, this art form featured other images, such as piles of books, libraries, and natural scenes. By the mid 18th century, ex libris with symbols of truth. Justice, knowledge, and hope were popular. All right. So the article starts out with a scenario. Imagine opening an old and beautiful book. Oh, 他要我们 imagine doing something， 也就是想象做某事。Mm-hmm. 想象我们呢，打开一本古老漂亮的书本。嗯、mm-hmm. mm-hmm.。Yeah. So nowadays, I think most books are sold as paperbacks, which means the covers are kind of soft and bendy. But hardback books make you feel like it's old, it's beautiful, it's meant to last for a long time. Now, if you open that book before the first page, the article says you might see a small printed label with the name of the book's owner on the inside cover. That's true. You would see a label sometimes. A label is a little piece of paper or a cloth, or it could be a stamp or similar material that is attached to something to identify or describe it. Basically, it's like a nameplate. Like if you see a label in a book, it might have the person's name, the date,、um, where the book is from,、mm-hmm. uh, the address of the person, maybe something like that. So you could also use it for clothes. All our clothes have labels on them. For example, the label on this shirt says that we should wash it by hand instead of in a washing machine. 刚刚的例句说呢，衣服上的标签会告诉我们要怎么去洗它。Label 这个字是个名词，意思就是标签或是标记。那再给同学们一个例句哦。For example, the jam has a label on it. 
that says to put it in the fridge after opening. 那关果酱上的标签说啊，开封之后要冷藏。那还有呢，在刚刚的课文当中啊，我们看到名词 cover 在这边是封面、封底的意思，所以你可能会在 inside cover， 也就是封面的内页，看到小小的印制标签，上面会有书本拥有者的名字。So we're talking about this label, this little stamp on the inside of the cover. This is an ex libris, which means from the library of or from the books of. So ex means out, and then libris means book or library. Ex libris, 它是源自于拉丁文哦。那单复数是同形的。中文我们会把它说成是藏书票或者是藏书标签。嗯哼。So they are in a Latin word because they're、mm. a very old thing from a time when Latin was used a lot. The article says ex libris are also called book plates, and their use can be traced back to 15th century Germany. A book plate is the same as an ex libris. It's probably called this because they were made from a print with a metal plate, not a plate for eating from, but a plate for making a print onto the book. Now it can be traced back to 15th century Germany, so that means the 1400s, probably when it was still the Holy Roman Empire before it was Germany. Now to trace something back to means to follow it back to its origin or its beginning. Basically, find out where something came from. So you can think of an example sentence: Aya can trace her family line back ten generations, so she knows where her seventh great grandmother lived. Her great 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 grandmother. <laughs> trace 这个动词呢，代表追查、追溯、来源。那可以是主动或被动出现。所以像例句当中说，她是 trace her family line back ten generations， 那就是追溯回十个世代。那被动的话呢，是 be traced back。To 那就是追溯到某个时间点，像课文说的 ，can be traced back to 15th century Germany， 那就是可以被追溯回十五世纪的德国。那这边用到的 book plate， 好，它指的就是我们说的藏书票。嗯哼 ，Now why were they using this? Individuals soon began using ex libris in the rest of Europe and around the world. What is an individual? Let's find that out now. An individual, as a noun, is a single person, a person who's considered separate from the rest of a group. So it's kind of the opposite of a group, or kind of the opposite of an organization. It's also an adjective, so you can use individual before a noun to talk about a single or separate thing, like an individual page from a book. So, for example, you could say four individuals came to the police at different times with helpful information about the bank robber. 课文当中的 individual 是个名词，代表个人。好，所以呢，人们开始在欧洲和其他地方使用藏书票。individual 这个字呢，还可以当形容词用啊，代表个别的、独特的或是特有的。像是呢，我们可以说 Vivian dresses in a highly individual way， 那代表她穿衣的方式是很独特的。Mm、hmm. So we're talking about individuals here. So individual people who have a lot of books. The article also says institutions such as private and public libraries, universities, and museums used them as well. So now that we've talked about individuals, you can kind of get what institutions means, especially because they gave us a few—a library, a museum. It's the opposite of individual. It's a company. It's a group. It's an organization. Other kinds of institutions might be financial institutions like banks or charities that give money to people who need it, or the government is a kind of institution. And then we see this word or this phrase as well. So institutions use them as well. That means also or too in a more formal way. It's used at the end of a sentence. As well, 代表是也啊，那通常是句句尾的。For example, our vacation was terrible. The food was bad, and the weather was awful as well. Oh no! 那就是食物不好，然后天气也很糟糕。那 institution 这个名词呢，是社会机构啦，或是组织。所以这边说到的是公司里的图书馆、大学、博物馆也开始使用藏书票。嗯哼。So the article says before modern printing production methods. Books were rare and precious, so owners took great pride in them. Of course, because before modern printing, books had to be written by hand,、mm. usually by monks. 
Right. People would learn to study writing, and they would learn to write very well, and they would write every single book by hand. That meant they were rare. They were precious. Something that is precious is rare and worth a lot of money, or it's greatly, greatly valued or important. In this case, both. The owners didn't want anything bad to happen to their books. They wanted to show them off. If you have something else that's precious, it might be like a piece of art, or maybe something that your family has handed down to you. Those might be precious as well. And people's lives are precious. Like you might think my pet is very precious. Nothing can replace my pet. So, for an example sentence, there are many precious jewels and art pieces in this museum's collection. So they protect them very carefully. Now, you could say that something precious, you would take pride in it. To take pride in something or somebody means to be proud of it. It holds something in great respect. To want to protect it and say, "Look at this thing I have. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat?" <laughs> take pride in something or somebody. 那就是为一点点点感到自豪，或者是呢为一点点点感到骄傲。那这边的 pride 哈是个名词，代表你的骄傲感。那 proud 是它的形容词，哈感到骄傲的。So for example, the company takes great pride in its great customers. Service 代表这间公司呢，以他们的顾客服务自豪。那再来回到刚刚说的 precious 这个形容词，珍贵的或是贵重的，可以形容有形的，也可以是无形的。无形的像是 time is precious，、mm. memories 你的回忆 are precious too。所以时间珍贵，回忆也珍贵，都可以用它来形容。那现代印刷术出现之前呢，书本是 rare 很稀有，然后很 precious 珍贵的。Mm、hmm. So during this time when books were so rare, ex libris were used so that books could be returned to the legal owner if they were stolen. If they were stolen. 今天的 language in focus 要讲到 so that 的句型。那这个句型啊，它是接在主要子句之后，用来引导表示目的的从属子句，有为了点点点，以便于点点点的意思。那常常呢，你会看到它与助动词 can、could、will、would 这些字并用。So that 前面通常不会使用逗号，而且 that 也是可以省略的。So for example, I'll leave your dinner. In the refrigerator, so that you can eat it when you get home. 那这里的 that 也可以把它拿掉。那代表就是呢，我会把你的晚餐留在冰箱里面，这样子你回家就可以吃了。那还有一个句型是 so 点点点 that， 也就是 so that 是分开的哈 ，so 后面需要接一些字进来，它的意思是如此以至于。那这边的 so 就会是一个副词哦，可以修饰形容词或者是另外一个副词。那 that 就是引导表示结果的副词子句。给同学们一个例句咯 t h e bag is so heavy that I can't lift it。这个包包太重了，我拿不动。So they would have these ex libris on the books so that they could be returned if they、mm -hmm. were stolen. To be stolen is the past participle of steal, the the verb steal. Now steal is one of these irregular verbs, so it's steal, stole, stolen, and that means to take something that doesn't belong to you in a way that's wrong and illegal. So. Yeah, if something is stolen, that means it's gotten by stealing. Stolen books, stolen art, stolen hearts. Oh, somebody steals your heart. It means that they basically make you fall in love with them. But anyway, to steal something is usually pretty bad, and you want to get it back if something is stolen from you. So, for an example sentence, the children stole some candy from the store, but their parents caught them and made them return it. Steal 这个动词就是偷窃。那从某人那边窃取某物 ，steal something from somebody。所以再给同学们一个例句 ：That guy stole the money from that woman。男人偷走那女人的钱。那被动也是很常见的，像是呢 ，My new bike was stolen yesterday。我的新脚踏车昨天被偷了。Oh no! I hope not. So the article says, since most people that could buy books were rich nobles, early ex libris often included their family crests. Okay, let's learn a little bit more about what a noble is and what a crest is. A noble is somebody who's a member of the highest class under a king, the nobility. So you could just say a noble is a rich person with an important family. So 
the old Chinese uh, imperial dynasties had noble classes. People who were very high ranking had very important families. And those families usually had a crest. A crest is a special symbol that is especially used in the past to represent a family or an organization or a group. So maybe in European flags or on European things, you would see a crest that looked like a shield and sometimes it had lions around it. In Japan, families have crests that look like circles or they look like flowers or things like that. There are many different kinds of symbols to represent different families or different organizations. Noble 这个名词呢，指的是贵族。所以说啊，以前能买书的大部分都是贵族。所以早期的藏书票上呢，都有他们的 crest。crest 这个名词啊，指的是城镇啊、机构或者是上层社会家族标记的市章、徽章。嗯哼。So these family crests might appear in an ex libris, and that would tell you where the book is from. Mm-hmm.、Mm-hmm. Interesting. So the article says later, this art form featured other images such as piles of books, libraries, and natural scenes. So piles of books is the first one of these. A pile is a group of things that are put on top of one another, usually very informally, or a very large amount of something. You could say. So if you have a pile of homework to do, maybe you just have lots of it. That's something you could say. Now, a pile is not a neat stack. It's not like you're putting your books very neatly on top of each other. It's not organized. You're just kind of throwing them on. So it's just put on top of each other in a careless way. Like our example sentence: "There's a big pile of dirty clothes on your floor. Can you please pick them up and put them in the washing machine?" <laughs> pile 这个名词呢是一叠一堆，它不是好好放整齐的一叠一堆，是可能随意丢的一叠一堆。A pile of something， 好，那就是一叠一堆的某物。所以课文就说啦，之后啊，藏书票这样子的艺艺术也以其他的图片为特色，像是成堆的书本、图书馆，还有就是自然的景色。Mm-hmm. So a library sounds very nice to have in an ex libris, or a pile of books, maybe just a stack, or a nice natural scene like some hills with the sun. By the mid 18th century, ex libris with symbols of truth, justice, knowledge, and hope were popular. Ah, ah so values and virtues.、Mm. So we're talking about the mid 18th century, the mid something century, or mid something decade, I guess. Could be the middle of a certain century because mid means the middle point in time or distance. So, like we were midway through our trip, or mid trip, I had to go to the bathroom, so we stopped. So, if you say the mid 18th century, that actually means the 1750s, about. 自首 M I D mid， 它常与名词连用，表示点点点中期或者中旬。所以十八世纪是 eighteenth century。那十八世纪中期，我们就说 mid eighteenth century。嗯哼。So we've just started to scratch the surface and learn the first things about ex libris， which are these fascinating little book plates and um。Yeah, we're just getting to the 1750s, the 18th century. That means that we've got more to go before we reach the modern day, and why we're talking about it now. But for now, that's the end of day one. We'll s- learn more in day two. For now, let's go to our for you chat. For you chat. Today's for you chat question is: Cat,、mm-hmm. what is the oldest book you have? How did you get it? Okay, I don't have this in Taiwan, but I think it's with my mom.、Mm-hmm. It's a 1900s or 1910s copy of Ozma of Oz. Wow, which is、uh, one of the stories in the Wizard of Oz. Right. So it was probably the first edition. It was probably right when it was written. So it's in your parents. Yeah, it's with my mom.、Mm-hmm. And、um, the spine's falling off. It's like really old and really faded. It probably has its own ex libris. So where does your mom keep it? I would guess she probably keeps it in storage, like in a box somewhere. Okay, so put it in the box and、yeah. put it in the storeroom, or yeah, 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 yeah. I think if I if I go back and I can find it, I would like to get it maybe resewn、mm-hmm. or restored somehow、nice. because it's a very precious book. Right. Yeah. So for me, the oldest book that I have probably is the this children book、mm-hmm. that I had when I was little. Oh yeah. So I still keep it. Oh, which what is it? To use it today,、uh, because I'm a teacher, so、oh, I can. Oh, you teach with it, right? I can use、Aww. it to teach the kids. 
That's Sometimes. cool. That yeah. sounds nice. <laughs> I would like to go look at my old childhood books too. Yep. Yeah. So think about the oldest book you have. Maybe it's a book from your childhood. Maybe it's an older book that your family has that it was passed down to them. So maybe you could find an Ex Libris mm -hmm. or something like it. So for now, that's all we've got. We'll see you in day two and learn a little bit more about these. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Label. Katie looked at the label on her sweater to see which company made it. Trace. My mother traced our family history back to Scotland, where my great grandparents worked as farmers. Individual. Tommy likes to work as an individual instead of in a group for his projects. Precious. Jordan was angry because some drunk men had damaged his precious motorcycle. Steal. After Liz realized someone had stolen her wallet, she went to the police station to report the crime. Pile. My pet rat loves to store food. It keeps piles of seeds in the corner of its cage. 小蝴蝶 Book plate Institution Noble Crest Yishang节目是由活用空中美语制作 活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。